I'm not informed about this topic, but I knew you would be. And mm-hmm. so I left this complete, I left myself completely ignorant to it, but pink sauce. Okay. So this whole pink sauce controversy, um, there's a TikToker and this woman on uh, TikTok has, I guess, um, came up with this recipe of this sort of this pink sauce um, that you're supposed to put on all your food. So I'm looking through all of these different videos and just trying to like understand like, what is this pink sauce? Cause I didn't understand it because I'm seeing her and I thought it was other people like with testimonials, but it was really her. She's putting like pink sauce on fries, on quarter pounders. She's putting it on like fried chicken, all kinds of things, but somehow it took off. So mm. people started buying the pink sauce and no one was able, really able to like describe what the sauce was or that no one was talking about like what it tasted like. Okay. So, um, it, but one of the, the complaints was just like, yo, this sauce, every time she ships it out and makes a new batch, it's a different color. So there's different um, variations of color. Okay. Um, someone pointed, pointed out that with the ingredients that she was using or supposedly that are on the label, it's not even shelf stable. So when she's mailing it out and like these, like, you know, when you get something from Amazon and it's right, right. like in a little bubble sleeve, She's right. mailing it out like that. There are people that have been receiving it and it's like all busted up too. So it's like, when you receive it, you shouldn't even be consuming it anyway. It's not mm-hmm. even packaged properly. And then wow. somebody else, some woman just had the, 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 the creative like leaning in mind to sort of deconstruct it and just understand what it must be. When she looked at what it was, she was like, this is nothing but like, you know, mayo, like kind of an aioli really. Like that's all it really was. Like it's what nothing but like so she's shipping <laughs> she's shipping mayonnaise with she's shipping like, pink mayonnaise like, like below, just loaded oh. mayonnaise bottles <laughs> yeah like, <laughs> exactly also so, why are I mean, people eating that though you, like uh, you, you know you know in, in all of my my fast food splendor I also do have a very very ho- whole teppy side to myself I have a little bit of carby to myself as well and there's just certain things I do not have the capacity to you draw the line you draw the line I just draw the line. A woman on TikTok cannot sell me on a pink sauce that she can't even describe the taste. And then when you look at the ingredients, the irony of all of this is on the ingredients list. First of all, she spelled vinegar wrong. It's like vinegar or something like that. But the irony of all of it is that she put on the sauce that the infamous sauce. It's infamous now, but people don't even know the language that they're using. Infamous is not, it's not a complimentary term. You know, it's just not. So <laughs> it's infamous. It's infamous like that's actually quite horrible like so you're telling me i'm supposed to consume something that's infamous on the bottle and it's pink yeah what's going on (laughs) (laughs) that's so wild to me first of all it's wildest to me that you're like i eat chick-fil-a but i have standing oh yeah (laughs) I, i listen okay like I will get a quarter pounder uh, with cheese, no pickles, and no ketchup because ketchup does not belong in a burger. That's absolutely crazy. Listen, I'm just I'm certainly just pink sauce of your abs. Like you still have abs. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I still I, those, I still have abs. Those African genes are are so fucking powerful. 